All right, hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, just talking about my uh, my starting new project for uh, Armies on Parade. I'm thinking about doing like the uh, the deeping wall, so when it's blown up, having like my Orokai, you know, my Isengard army coming through. Um, so this is just the start. It's just an MDF board. I've got a bit of you know just wood. Um, it's obviously cut down to, like a square bit. Uh, I've got obviously some liquid nail stuff. Um, <clears throat> Right, I've got a load of foam that I'm sort of recycling um, lying around as well. Um, we're still getting a quick intro to this. Basically, the plan is that I'll cut this board down a little bit. It's a bit less than two foot wide, but I'm going to cut it down so that it's two, so it's two foot on the long, and I'll just keep this as normal stuff as the, as the length as it is right now. Um, and the plan for this is basically that I'll glue along the length, and hopefully I'll give the board a bit more stability. But also increase the surface area for the um, like the walls to stick to, because basically they're just going to be cut out of a bit of foam. So obviously I'll sort of glue them in there and glue them there, and hopefully the idea is that I'll just give it more stability, um, make the build stronger. Um, so I mean the main plan is it's going to be for armies on parade, but obviously it'd be quite handy. I could probably use it as like a centerpiece for a game because I'm only using like six millimeter MDF, so it wouldn't be too high up on a on another board. Um, my also thinking is that I might just maybe get another bit of this at a later date, uh, maybe do something else with it, so that I can almost build my own sort of modular table. Um, so yeah, that's something I could also do. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all cut down, get this glued on. So here's the board all cut up to size. I've glued the uh, bit of uh, the wood across, and what I've done is I've just tacked some nails in, so the holes, basically I realised I didn't have any clamps that were that weren't ridiculously large. So rather than trying to clamp it, I've just put some tacks in so that I'll hold until the, uh, the liquid nail stuff cures in like 24 hours. But I mean, I'm going back to work tomorrow, I'm going to wait all week. So um, it'll be a week before I can do anything more with this board. But in the meantime, I've been working on making the walls. So what I've got here is I've got two bits of foam. As you can see, one bit is a little bit taller than the other, so obviously one's going to be the rampart, one's going to be the bit behind it. And I've actually got two separate bits, as you can see here. So my plan is, I will set them up like so. Um, you know, you've got the big gap there. Like I realise it's going to be a really big gap, but because it's meant to be a display board, I want to have as many more as I can get fitting through this gap. And what I will do is, I'll obviously then cut these down here, sort of, so obviously they look, so obviously they're not straight sides, so they look like they've been blown up. Um, I'm thinking maybe for the back bit, I might put some stairs in maybe, something like that. Um, but obviously that'll be, yeah, that's something I'll probably start to go work on now. Um, I might just go and get a model as well and see how high the ramparts are. I might have to lower the bit behind the ramparts just uh, so it looks a bit better. So as you can see now I have cut the uh, the walls down to make them look like they've sort of collapsed, crumbled a little bit. I've scored some uh, stonework in which I think has actually worked really really well. I'm really happy with that. Um, as you can see there's going to be a big gap there because it's going to be a display board so I want to get as many models as I can into that gap you know just so that it looks really cool because the idea is I'm going to sort of show it off with them charging through so that's the back of the walls I've made some little stairs there I'll probably scour them at some point um, I'm going to get those all glued in together so they sit together um, but yeah that's sort of like that's the rough shape I think it's going to really look really good really simple obviously sort of once that lot's all glued together, then the next stage is going to be making it look a bit more, you know, a bit more rubbly, really get all the texture in. Um, obviously, do something with this bit here, like there, to try and hide that a bit better. I might, one thing is, I might sand it down, sort of carve it off a bit to make it look a bit more sloped. Um, I'm going to try and do something of modeling it to make like a bit of a pool coming out here, so that obviously, you know, because we're in a gimli's in the water. In the film, so I kind of want to, you know, bring that back, show that again. So that'd be quite cool. So actually, what I might end up doing is maybe even raising this up a little bit at the back here. Um, but I don't know. I've not decided 100% yet if I'm going to do that or not. But we'll see how that goes. 
Um, yeah, I should probably have thought this out a bit more. But anyway. Right, so I've now glued down the walls. I've also sort of glued down some of these blocks here. So they're just blocks that cut out this stuff. And I've just glued them down just so it looks like there's a lot of debris. That one I've glued there on purpose because that's what Saruman's going to stand, basically, because the idea is, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's designed to stay, it's display for my army. And obviously I want Saruman to be the centerpiece because he is the leader, you know, he's the guy that owns Isengard. Um, as you see the back here, I've just got some sprue that I've glued down here. So my plan is I'm going to buy some sculptor mold and just sort of, so I can um, texture the base a bit, you know, to make it look less flat and less like a bit of MDF. Um, so that sprue there is just giving me the edge of where I want the pool to be. So, you know, the water, the, where the Gimli stood on in the film, that's where that's going to be. So obviously I'll bring all the plaster in sort of to the edge there and then probably build it up over the sprue a bit. But then that will be flat and I will just get some water effect in there. Um, and then obviously I'll build up here with this thing, you know, sort of build it up a bit, make it look like it's some sort of like sloped. Um, stony something or some sort of ridge or something um but yeah that's the progress of this is going going now um so yeah so once the next stage is the sculptor mold once that's done i maybe do a small like small debris so you know just i'm um, basically i've just got bits of you know cup sprue that i might just cut even more um, I could do something like that, like crush it like a grinder or something. Um, but that's, but then that'll get sort of spread all over everything. Um, and then once that's dry, it will be on the painting. I'm thinking I might just get like a gray, gray spray paint and just spray the whole thing with that sort of as a start. Um, or I might just paint it with a brush. I don't know, but if I'm going to spray paint it, I'm going to need to seal all the foam. So that'll probably be done with like water down PVA glue or something like that. Right, so the um, sculptor mold's all been applied to uh, texture the base there, as you can see. Um, it's obviously really rough. Uh, mostly I've just used my hands and my fingers to apply, apply this to the stuff. I did use the back of a spoon to sort of smooth things out a bit like I've done at the top there. And like I've done the steps there. Um, and also just sort of work into those gaps like here uh i mean like if you've got proper tools that'd be much better but i am um, you know i just want the people i just use whatever i've got to hand um so when i've mixed the sculptor mold it's just just what they normally tell you on the bag it's uh three parts uh sculptor mold to one part water or roughly thereabouts i just sort of guessed it roughly um you see i've like just sort of crammed a lot of it down there to just give that a bit more texture make it look almost like a bit of wood stuck down the board but uh, I think, you know, I'm really, I'm really happy with this thing. Once this is all painted up, it'll look really good. Because, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to go for the, oh, you know, all this churn mud. Because, you know, it's going to be raining. You might have, like, the Urukai marching up and just, you know, constantly coming in. I mean, like, if you think historically, you know, you, you do this, you, this comes in waves. You get one wave in, you, you know, you are, they might get fought off or people fucking get tired. And obviously, Urukai are meant to be, you know, really good stamina, but even then, they're still going to fall back. You know, you pull back, and the new troops coming through, and you just do the ground, just constantly getting churned up. Um, and, you know, especially since they're running in through the, the breach, I think that's going to look really good for that. Like, this is just, you know, it's going to hopefully, once the paint out well, it's going to look like properly churned up mud, and it's going to look really good. Right, um, so I've not done much more recently on this, but. Uh, basically, I've, what I've done is all the foam. I have just um, given a coating of um, water down PVA. The idea being to seal it up and sort of so that it should hold the paint better and stuff like that. Um, you can also see I've scattered bits of like crushed sprue. Basically, I've just been saving all the bits of chopped up sprue and, and you know all that sort of stuff. Um, and then so I can just use it. The base of things is not fully on yet. I sort of decided like I'd let the current water down PVA sort of dry first, maybe before I try to add more. In. And maybe I just use undry, like you know, un water down sort of to attach more of that stuff. But the idea then is I'll make it look a bit more gritty and smashed up and less sort of clean. Um, but yeah, that's uh, probably gonna take a while to dry. But um, sort of that's really gonna be the last sort of stage before it gets to painting. Um, I'm still I'm an hour over how I'm gonna paint it. Um, I might just get like a grey spray paint and sort of have that as the base coat and sort of once that's 
done then obviously i'll do like you know dry brushing and things like that um but yeah it's kind of i'll see how it goes as i go as i do it really i'm kind of making this up i'm currently in the middle of spray painting it right now um as you can see i've just gone for black it's obviously also wet because i've put quite a lot on um this actually kind of highlights the importance of um sealing it with the uh, PVA glue i don't know how well you can see but it's just like the foam is obviously i've not done an amazing job i should probably put a couple more layers of pva glue on because the foam is just soaking up the paint and you know it's just not holding that color very well um <clears throat> yeah you can see where it's looking and you can also see where it's starting to bubble up there as well um i think the uh, yeah the spray paint is sort of melting it a bit um i've got i've got some like gray acrylic paint now i just bought some cheap stuff so i think what i'll do is I will just paint that over the top once this is dry. Um, I was originally going to just get this all black and then build up the layers of overbrushing. I could still do, you know, layers of overbrushing anyway. Um, but I'll just have, but it'll just have a a greyer base than I intended. I intend to have a black base, um, but I'm going to have to. Yeah. So it's, it's something I'm, I'm going to think about next time in the future. Um, if I do do more, I will probably I will try and seal it again. Or I might just not bother spray painting and just, uh, just do it with a brush. Um, got my hobbits being painted at the same time. I uh, figured it was a good use. Um, obviously the the main base, um, this stuff is going to be it's going to be brown. Um, it's going to be mud. Uh, I'll probably just like you know give that a good a good coating of, of brown and then you know again dry brush up, over brush up, just give it a bit of a bit of an edge highlight. Should look pretty good. Um, and the painting here has actually begun. Um, what I ended up doing is I did end up doing just like a normal, uh, sort of like a cheap acrylic as the as sort of like the base coat for the walls. Um, it's paint's grows quite dark, so actually that's got the um, the look that I wanted. And then just using this really old uh, ceramic white that I've basically managed to recover by adding a bit of water to it. I've just mixed that together just to get a lighter grey, and I've brushed that over the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep building up now dry brush layers. Just getting lighter and lighter until that last layer is pretty much white and um, then that'll be the walls done um, and then i'll be on doing the bit onto the the mud uh, and that's going to be brown um and basically i'm waiting for a, a cheap brown acrylic crew to come uh, i'll get that i just get that covered and then what, again what i'll probably do is i'll just use some of that white to just mix it down um and then just do a dry brush over that and just obviously highlight all those edges the dry brush has now been applied to the brown. Um, let's see over here. I think it actually gives it a really, really nice effect. I'm really happy with how it's now come out. Um, so I'm not sure what I left to do now is to add some more effect, um, and then I can photo it. The uh, the last detail has now been added. Um, I've used some water effect to make the pool. It's still drying. Um, probably take about 24 hours to cure. Uh, so it'll be um, be a while before I can actually get the board all set up. But uh, still got a good few weeks left in November. So I've got plenty of time left to, uh, to get some photos taken of this. But yeah, I mean, I'm really, really pleased with how it's come out so far. It's going to look really, really cool, I think. When I've got like my whole Isengard army all out on display, ready to use and bow. That's no, gonna be really cool.